I've got to ask this question. How do you protect a Google form so that uh, bots or nefarious people cannot submit spam? I'm going to give you two ideas to consider. They're nothing really great, but they're the best ideas that I could find because there is no way to block someone from a Google form uh, currently. So here's number one. Number one is you could limit it to one response only. If you limit it to one response, then they are required to sign in with their Google account. So you'll know what their Google account is. And furthermore, they can only do this once. Secondly, you could, while you're doing that, you, you could turn off editing responses so that they can't, they can't edit the responses. The next thing you do is you could require that they uh, set, they give you their email address. And it could be a verify, which might will force them to log into Google. Now, here's one more thing you can do as I put that back. One more thing you could do is you could add a question. And you add a question and you make it simple, a short answer. And then you come down here. You first, you make it required. And then you come down here and you do a response validation. And so you could do it and make it text, and you could say that it contains and it has to have a magical code. It could be TRIP 2023 or whatever magical code you want. Then you got to give them custom error text that says wrong answer. Otherwise, it'll tell them what it should contain that. And then when they go to fill this form out, I can edit my response. And then I can see the answer here. I can put horse. And when I hit tab, it says wrong answer. I've got to put in that magical code before it'll let me hit next. So just a couple thoughts about how you can protect a Google form. Again, number one way would be to limit it to one response, collect email addresses, force them to log into Google. Google, excuse me. And the number two thought would be to add a, a, a verification, a response verification, a validation, so that they have to uh, put in a validation code before they fill this out. If you're going to go with a public form, I would strongly urge you to think about turn on email addresses and use a validation code to make sure your Google form does not get run all over by spammers and bots. I'm Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail guy. Try these ideas out and see if any of them work for you.